Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to draw divided bar graphs. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one. In a survey, 10 students have apples, 8 students have pears, 15 students have oranges, and 7 students have bananas during lunchtime. Draw a divided bar graph to show the results. So first of all, we need to work out how many students all together. So let me just add them up first. So we have 10 students and we add another 8, we add 15 and we add 7. So that will give me, so I just go 8 plus 7, so that give me 15, right? And 15, we plus these two, give me 30. And then we add another 10, so it's 40. So 40 students all together. Otherwise, you can choose your calculator. So to draw this on a divided bar graph, so easier if we draw 40 centimeters. So each centimeters represent each student. But then in real life, it's, we don't have enough space for that. So what we can do, I can draw that in 20 centimeters. So it's doable, right? Of course, if not, you can also do it 15 or, or 12 and so on. But easier if you do by 20 centimeters because it's less, there's more to deal with. That's all. The process is the same. So before we do that, we need to work out each fraction first. Now for apples, so let me just write this down. So apples, that will give me, so we know that 10 students have apples. So 10 and divide by 40, that is the fractions for apples. But then because I'm going to use 20 centimeters long, okay, for the bar graph. So I just time by 20 centimeters. So then we know that this cancel with this and these two times together give me 20. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that should give me 5 centimeters. Otherwise, of course, you can just put on a calculator 10 over 40 times 20 and you should get 5. Okay, so move on next one. So for pairs, so we know that we have 8 students all together. So let me clear this. So 8 over 40 and then we times by 20 centimeters because we want to draw the bar graph that is 20 centimeters long. So now that equals, so this cancel out and then this time that give me 16 and then we divide by 4, give me 4. So 4 centimeters. Otherwise, of course, just put on a calculator 8 over 40 times 20. Okay, keep that in mind. And we have 15 students have oranges. So we go so oranges is equal to, so we have 15 over 40, and then we times by 20 centimeters. So that will give me, so what I do, this cancel with that, so left with 2, and then that is half of 15 is 7.5. So 7.5 centimeters. So what is left, it should be for the student that have bananas. But let me just work it out as well. So bananas is equal to, so 7 over 40 times 20 centimeters. So that cancel out, give me 200 nits, so 3.5 centimeters. So let me just construct the bar graph first. Start from zero here. And then we go 20 centimeters. So there you go. So now for apples, we need five centimeters. So for five centimeters, so five is here, right on five centimeters. So there you go. So that is apples. So let me just copy this. So there you go. That is apples. 
Now for pairs, so it's four centimeters. So we start from five, so we add four, so it should be nine. From five to nine is four, okay? Keep that in mind. One, two, three, four, so there you go, so nine. So that is four, four pairs. So let me just copy this. So there you go. Now for oranges, so 7.5 centimeters. So for 7.5 centimeters, so we add nine, so 16.5. Otherwise, you can just quickly count from here. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so 7.5, so 16.5. So start from here. So there you go. So that is oranges. So let me just copy that. And whatever left, it should be for bananas. So we can see 3.5. So is that 1, 2, 3, 3.5. There you go, right? So bananas, let me just copy this. So there you go. So of course, I can decorate it or highlight it. So this is for apples and pears and oranges. And this is for bananas. So there you go. This is how to draw divided bar graph. But then if you have grid paper, of course, it's much easier. So let me just show you how to draw on the grid paper as well. So to draw it on a grid paper, so we know that all together is 40 students. Of course, if you have space, depend how big the grid paper is. So you can either use uh, 40 grids or 20 grids it doesn't really matter so let me just do the same thing are you 20 grids so easier one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty okay so i just use 20 grid and of course if you have space you can do 40 grid easier so let me just do 20 so I just start from here and i go all the way to here so there you go so let me just clear this dot first now we know that for apples there are 10 students but then 40 students all together and we have 20 grids so therefore each grid is represent two students remember that because we have 20 grid so i just go 20 if i times by 2 will give me 40 so there you go so each grid represent two students and we have 10 students having apples so therefore 10 divided by 2 should give me 5 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 okay so that is apples so let me just write this down apples and then the next one so peers so we have eight students so therefore half of eight which is four so we need to have four grid so one two three four so which is here so there you go so that is pears and the next one is oranges so we have 15 students have oranges so 7.5 okay because half of 15 is 7.5 so you go one two three four five six seven and then half there you go. So this is oranges. And whatever left is for bananas. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How did you go? So let me just go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So first of all, we know that there are 30 students all together. So you can either draw, of course, draw 30 centimeters so that each student represent one centimeter or one centimeter represent each student. But then we can't do that because we don't have enough space and um, harder to draw as well obviously it's too too large for for us to draw so therefore we can draw 15 centimeters okay so it's easier or you can draw any other 
length doesn't matter, but it is harder because a lot of that's more to deal with. That's all, but the process is exactly the same. So keep that in mind. So I use 15 centimeters. So first of all, I need to work out each fraction first, okay? For students who like to play soccer, so for soccer, that is equal to, we have six of them, so six over 30, and we times by 15 centimeters, so 15 centimeters. So that will give me, so I go this, divide by that, give me two, and six divided by two is three. Again, of course, you can just put on a calculator. So six divided by 30 times 15, and you should get three. Now, and for basketball, so that is equal to, so we have eight over 30. That is the fractions of student who plays basketball, but we want to work out how many centimeters. So we times by 15, and that will give me Again, this cancel that, give me two, so that is eight divided by two is four, so four centimeters. Of course, you can put down a calculator. So the next one is handball. So for handball, let me write this down. So that is four students, so over 30, you times by 15 centimeters. So that will give me, so that's, Divided by this, give me two. So the answer is two because four divided by two is two, so two centimeters. And we have 12 students who like to talk to each other. So let me just write talking we do. Talking is equal to 12 over 30 times 15. So that cancel, give me two. So it's six centimeters. So there you go. So let me just draw a divided bar graph first. So I draw 15 centimeters long. So there you go. So now for soccer, three centimeters. So that is soccer. So there you go. And for basketball, four centimeters. Because we start from three, so we add four, so it should be seven all together. So right there. So that is basketball. And the next one is handball, that is two centimeters. Or you can draw talking first, doesn't really matter. So let me just draw talking first, okay? Because it's easier, because six centimeters. So I put six centimeters, so that means six plus seven is 13. It doesn't matter whether you draw handball first or talking first okay just keep that in mind as long as the same ratio okay or proportions if you like so there you go so talking let me just write this down so talking and what's over left is actually handball so let me just copy then paste this so there you go. If you draw 15 centimeters, you should have the same answer as my one. But if you have different length, doesn't really matter, but make sure you have the correct proportions or correct ratio for each of them, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.